Devin McNabb, one of the finest all-around quarterbacks in the land. They show a wishbone look, come down the line with the option. McNabb to keep it on first down, and McNabb is out to the 27-yard line. Strong option run, and they show shotgun here with McNabb. Strong arm, open man, first down. Fires it over to the right side, and Syracuse moves quickly out to the 42-yard line. Coming up now with a third down and two here for Syracuse. The option, a great play. They line up in the shotgun. Conrad is right next to him. Comes back right side, got it, put it in Jackson's hands for another first down inside the 30-yard line. Slot man is off to the left. He's going to look in that direction. Fire at the first down, had it. It's complete, and it's a Syracuse first down. First down for the Orange men. There's the option. Michigan run it. He stepped inside. Whitley McNabb with a great run and out of bounds. It'll be first and goal for Syracuse. Whitley had the play read perfectly. And McNabb simply stepped inside of him and ran for the big game. McNabb proving that he can read defenses from the pocket as well. You will never, ever see a running back, wide receiver, tight end any more wide open than Rob Conrad. There's trouble in River City, folks. The team had to practice in their regular area, but in the, in the carrier dome, and that was a little bit different than they were used to, Brent. Well, here is Donovan McNabb again, keeping it, banging for the first down, crossing midfield. And I am not sure that Michigan has a clue about stopping Syracuse as I watch this game unfold. Now the Orangemen might stop themselves. First down and 10. Syracuse inside the 50 again. McNabb on the play fake and a foot race. Look at that arm. Beautiful strike. Throwing against his body as he went over to the sideline and hitting his tight end. Stephen Brominski from Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. This is what happens when you run the option well. Now they show a basic pro set with a slot man out to the right-hand side. And McNabb short drop, fires wide open. Johnson having a field day down at the 16. And that's right around the first down marker. We'll wait and see on that. Syracuse needs five. Conrad the fullback. McNabb slides right in trouble. Quickly goes back. It's a backside block. Look at the dangerous one move. 26 yard line a first down he's really sure to get the snap from center so he's a little bit late D Brown with a great block there number six but then you just got to watch the athletic ability of McNabb here surveying the field looking for a receiver and then seeing he still needs five yards for that first down D Brown 206 pounds Michigan with a nose man and an odd front right on him to see if they can rattle him the backside block under pressure floats one complete to Conrad. Looking at a third down and three. McNabb down the middle. Got it. down and a dozen for McNabb in the shotgun. Four wide receivers and Conrad alongside. Stopped in the middle. Dances back outside. Looks for somebody to come free and now he'll take it. Breaks a tackle at the 10. Five. Touchdown, Syracuse. And there is a very proud father over there as his son takes it into the end zone with one shoe, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, from Illinois. And don't the fighting the line, I wish they'd recruited this young man. Take a look. Come on, Pops, on your feet. Here he comes. Two wides down toward the bottom of your screen. Johnson, your slot man. McNabb drifts in that direction. Comes back middle. Got Johnson for the first down at the 25. That's a wonderful pass route that Kevin Johnson turned in. Got the first down, and he curled it off to the middle. Second down and six. Of the day. We've 
you're talking about McNabb's ability to get away from the pass rush. Short drop of five steps here. Gets away from Renus, and there's a wide open receiver again for Syracuse. Johnson secures the catch. But this is just a thing of beauty. Head up all the time, never looking at the pass rush, but feeling it, knowing that it's still safe in the middle, and then delivering the strike. But McNabb rolls it out, waits for somebody in pressure, fires hard to Spotwood, and Spotwood extends to the 49-yard line. Second down and seven for the Orange. In trouble, going to step away from it, into the pocket, fired downfield, got him! On the 12-yard line, it's Kevin Johnson again. You know, Brent, you said he was in trouble. I don't think he thinks he's in trouble. I think he's got him right where he wants him. Come on, rush me with as many guys as you can. You can't touch me. He is the Barry Sanders of quarterbacks. Mongrel, take it to him. There's a block throw open, and Conrad's second touchdown. The fake to Mongro, but look, nobody is going with the fullback. They are so confused. Look at how open, again, a 250-pound fullback can get. And Donovan McNabb, and I get the feeling listening to Dan Fouts that you think he has a big future ahead of him on Sunday afternoon. Well, this is a pro-style offense, except for the option. And it wouldn't be uh, bad if he went into the NFL and they put a little option in for him because with his size at 220, he's going to be able to uh, take on a couple of those tacklers. But uh, he can throw every type of pass possible. Here he is, the player of the game, Donovan McNabb. Three touchdown passes, one rushing. What an extraordinary performance by the Orangemen, Donovan. Uh, we came out and we, put, we were prepared well from our coaches uh, with the distractions that we had back in Syracuse. This win was for the Syracuse football team, the coaches, as well as everybody back in Syracuse. Joining me now, former Orange head coach Dick McPherson. Coach Mack? I said to, I said to Donovan, this is the most significant win. He's had a lot of great wins, but this is the biggest one, both for himself and for the team. I think they're going back up to the top ten. They're ready to go into the Big East Conference. North Carolina State beat Florida State. This is, everything's happening your way today, Donovan. Well, uh, you know, we're honored to be in the position that we're in. Uh, if we continue to rise, then then we'll just rise. But we still have to continue to stay focused and just come out next week against Rutgers and continue to take one more step ahead. Yeah, the key is you got to be ready, just like after Tennessee, you got to be ready for the next hurdle. Not this week, Michigan, but now next week, Rutgers. Exactly. Uh, we can only hold on to this win so long. Um, you know, we'll probably think about it till tomorrow. Then Monday, we got to come back and get ready for Rutgers. How's your foot? Uh, my foot's fine. I'm feeling real good. Uh, uh, we're on TV, so <laughs> I'm going to continue to say I'm feeling good. He's a champion. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Donovan McNabb, the Syracuse Orangeman winner.